Hey everyone, this is Kitty Big Games, and I'm Morello. And I'm Sashimi. And we are here to talk about factions, their levels of loyalty, and the rewards. So Sash here is going to be asking some questions from the level of a new gamer and uh, to Anthem, and I'll be trying my best to answer them. So, what you got? Well, first of all, what are the factions? So the factions are groups that are related to the different, uh, they represent the different groups within the game, Freelancers, Sentinels, and the Arcanists. So getting loyalty with all of these is what you want to do for further rewards. So we'll start off here with Freelancer. If you want to get Freelancer loyalty, you're going to want to work with Yaro and his quests. Um, if you want to work with Sentinels and work on that, you're best off working with uh, Sentinel Brynn, her quests, as well as going out into world and free play. And helping out the Sentinels in world events can help build up her uh, loyalty. Uh, for the Arcanists, uh, Matthias, uh, Matthias's quests will get you loyalty with him, as well as opening chests that you find out in free play. And you unlock him doing the story, right? Yes, all of these are unlocked as you go through with the story. Freelancers first, I believe Sentinels were second, and then Arcanists. I might be mixed up on those two. No, I think you're right. All right, so... Uh, so why do you care to build up your reputation with them? So for that, if you come here to Challenges and go down to Factions, you can actually see the rewards. I'm currently level 2, but that lets me see all the rewards for level 1 and 3. Is 3 the max level? Three is the max level that you can get technically. You can go beyond that, though. I'll actually point that up. I'll uh, point out the tutorials that explain that here in just a minute. Okay. So let's take a look. We'll start with Arcanist lo loyalty level one since it's up top. So for level one, um, you're looking at. It says right up here in the at the at the top that loyalty rewards. You must be level ten to deploy, but these will get you uncommon, rare, and epic sigil blueprints. For your javelins, so these are so you can craft them. So that's why you want to do the gathering. Exactly. So here, as you can see, this is the Arcanist level one loyalty. Level two will gain you the materials for your javelins and customization. You get tungsten, silver, platinum, as well as all these sigil blueprints. It also does. Uh, these do tend to have uh, visual upgrades for the fort. Um, I will let you guys get to that because the fort actually comes up. It's it's pretty satisfying to see the fort grow as you do. Loyalty level one rewards are going to include the material for your javelin to look standard, so the pattern uh, your paint looks a little better than old and dirty. Is this completely separate from the story, or if you're doing the story through regular gameplay, I guess could you ignore this, miss it? Uh, no, you you will unlock uh, freelan Freelancer, Arcanist, and Sentinel uh, cha challenges as well as the, the factions through normal gameplay. You can't miss it. Okay. So here are the blueprints that you'll be getting for Freelancer Loyalty Level 1. Loyalty Level 2. Freelancer will get you the clean state for your javelin so you can make them look extra fresh. They changed the... Uh dirty one to old so is clean gonna be new um i think dirty and old are still there they just have the default now is old instead of dirty hmm. so you don't start from the very very bottom uh but as you can see here these are the blueprints that you get these are for okay so arcanist will get you the sigils freelancers will get you uh universal components for your javelins and Sentinels will get you uh, iconic components. Uh, these are the ones that are actually per javelin. They're the ones that are specific to each type. And as you can see here, the iconics have quite a list. This yeah. is Sentinels level one. And Sentinel loyalty level two will get you the materials tin, iron, and lead as well as this extensive list of components. So if you may be seeing people out there with this stuff and you want it, and you're wondering how they got it. That, or if you've got a component that you like, but say the missions aren't rewarding you with the components you want and you want to build them instead, that's how you get them. So let's take a look at Arcanist Loyalty Level 3. 
This will get you bronze, brass, copper, as oh. well as these sigils. I bet copper is nice. Yeah, I bet it is. I'm more of a brass kind of guy, though. Now, if you want the new material for your uh, for your javelin, so it can look brand new, no scratches, dings, be completely unrealistic, but totally clean out on the battlefield, then you need Freelancer Loyalty Level 3. That'll unlock the new state as well as these blueprints. Last but definitely not least, because I love Brandon, she's one of my favorite characters, Loyalty Level 3 for the Sentinels is going to get you Nickel, Chromium, Titanium. I think Titanium is going to be one of my favorites. Yeah, it could be a good one. As well as this... Yet again, extensive list of blueprints. So you might notice that what we're getting is up to epic. It's like, where's the masterwork? Where are the masterwork blueprints, Roy? Well, that's why you head over to Tutorial, where it'll actually tell you. And I think there's a few websites that didn't read this, because I think a few websites, maybe Polygon, that are actually saying there might be a fourth faction. Well, that's not what the game has to say. If you go down here to Growing Your Legend in Tutorials and Faction Reputation, you can earn faction with... It basically says here to summarize. You can earn all the way up to level 3 and you unlock these things for each. If you look at the bottom here, though, after earning Freelancer Loyalty Level 3, Sentinel, and Arcanist Loyalty Level 3, the Champion of Tarsus Challenge will unlock, allowing you to earn more reputation with each of the three factions and unlock Masterwork Component mm. Blueprints in the Forge for the Ranger, Colossus, Storm, and Interceptor. So, to answer your question from earlier, uh, basically once you get to level 3 with all, it expands, you get this new challenge, and thus it will unlock the masterwork blueprints good stuff so if you want to get those blueprints unlocked you want to get to crafting the best stuff that you can possibly get work on those factions they are highly rewarding uh, you might also want to go up there and check your challenges tabs they also have a lot of great rewards especially if you're looking to earn some coin or extra blueprints for your weapons that would be the place to look so guys hope this helped out uh, if you're new to the channel likes and subs are appreciated but completely up to you what we do ask for, however, around here is if it's within your means, consider adopting and or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google local animal rescue and adoption. If you can't bring one home due to allergies, uh, living conditions, what have you, there's other ways to show your love to the little guys. What are some of those? You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, they can use all that kind of stuff. Yep, so if you've got love to give, there's plenty of ways to give that love and to show it to the little guys. And there's plenty of animals out there who could use it. And speaking of love, we love you guys. And we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.